semaglutide. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So, what is semaglutide? It's a GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1. And this was a treatment developed originally for type 2 diabetes and now has gone beyond that. And you'll probably know it more as the brands. So, Azempic, a treatment for type 2 diabetes, often used actually for obesity, but that's naughty. And we use Wegovy, which is definitely used for obesity and weight loss. Um, and, and of course, there's also a tablet called Rebelsis, and that's licensed for type 2 diabetes. And again, it's sometimes used what we call off label for weight loss. So, what's the story about the, this drug? Well, it was developed for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. It has an impact on insulin secretion, which is glucose dependent. So what that means is it produces insulin when you need it as the glucose is rising, and that makes it safely reducing the glucose. But it's, it does more than that. This drug we know also impacts on appetite via a variety of mechanisms, both in the brain, stomach, and this leads on to weight loss. So what's the good? Well, the good is in terms of what it was originally developed for, type 2 diabetes. Um, and it's really good at, at reducing glucose is semaglutide. So we, from the studies uh, with that, we're seeing probably about a 1.8% HbA1c reduction, which is really good, get that at 12 weeks. Um, in terms of high risk patients with high cardiovascular risk patients with type 2 diabetes, we know it reduces cardiovascular events. And if we go on to other beneficial effects, well, is the weight benefit. So, so we know it has by multiple mechanisms, both in the brain and in the stomach, it reduces appetite. And we can see when used in people with obesity and in its highest dose, which is Wegovy, which uses up to 2.4 milligrams as opposed to the one milligram of Azempic, we're seeing a 15, up to a 15% weight reduction. That takes a bit longer. That takes more like six, to 12 months and yet again those patients at high cardiovascular risk it reduces their cardiovascular events similar theme going on here more than the benefits in terms of type 2 diabetes and weight loss we can now see a reduction in um, it's used in heart failure so reduced hospitalizations in heart failure and also improving quality of life and that's in heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and we've also it protects the kidneys and in fact, people with type 2 diabetes and kidney disease makes them live longer and reduces cardiovascular events too. Similar message going through about those cardiovascular events. And it's been studied outside of what I've said already. We're going to, it's been, the studies looking at it for Alzheimer's. So it may be repurposed there. There's actually some interesting small studies um, uh, looking at addiction with uh, GLP-1, looking to reduce addiction in those patients on GLP-1. So that's the good, okay? Well, what about the bad stuff? Well, it seems to actually be pretty well tolerated. There are, the most common side effects are gastrointestinal, nausea, um, a feeling of sickness, um, um, sometimes indigestion or dyspepsia, sometimes even diarrhea, usually dose dependent, and it tends to be transient. So it happens at the beginning and as you're increasing, but once you're stabilized, that generally settles down. There is a small um, uh, potential increased risk for pancreatitis, but that, is somewhat controversial. Some studies um, uh, suggest it, but actually the bigger studies say that perhaps it's not so clear. And then um, there is some concerns about using it in type 2 diabetes on people who have got eye disease because it might be so good at reducing glucose, it might actually cause some adverse effects. What about the ugly? It must be two things, price and availability. If for those patients who have to pay out of pocket, it's not cheap. Uh, it can be, um, fortunately, I work in the UK, so for a lot of my patients, they can get it on the NHS, but certainly not all. And, um, but the availability is so popular, probably because of that weight loss benefits, um, we, we're really struggling to get hold of it. And perhaps our, the patients who most need it are really struggling to access this drug. So in summary, this is a treatment which was originally developed for diabetes, now mainly being used increasingly in weight loss, but actually may have benefits over and above that. And we've got clear benefits in chronic kidney disease, uh, certainly for type 2 diabetes, and for heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. So this is not just a skinny jab. So there we go. The good, the bad, the ugly. Final little quote. We've been talking about the good, the bad, the ugly. What did Clint Eastwood say about this? Well, he said there are two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns and those who dig. Semaglutide, we dig you.
Thanks for listening.